reproachful. Biden became a mess at the G7 that put America to shame. Joe Biden continues to embarrass himself on the world stage. Biden arrived in Geneva on Tuesday to continue talks with the European Union. While speaking at a summit, Biden tripped over all his own words and struggled mightily to deliver a coherent sentence. And uh, I've said before, and I apologize for the, oh, I didn't. Jake Sullivan from the State Department. I'm leaving out a lot of people here. I apologize. I'm going to get in trouble. But anyway, we'll get back to that. But um, we, um, you know, Biden murmured. Biden and members of his team met with Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan on Monday morning at the NATO summit in Brussels. After being held outside the room for 90 minutes, reporters were finally allowed in the room. Biden, they said they had a good meeting and that was it. Biden sat there in silence while White House staff yelled at reporters to get out of the room. How sad is it that so many are trying to prevent Biden from speaking on the world stage? Biden clearly does not speak for himself. What a disgrace to those hard-working American people that live under the criminal's oppressive government. Both him and that thing he calls a wife should be brought to task for all the damage they've done to the USA. Canada, of course, has a problem of its own with that jackass Trudeau, who's about as bright as Robinette, and that's not too bright. Biden is not my president. He is the puppet installed by the liberal ballot stuffers of America, aka the Democratic Party. I believe they've been stuffing ballots for decades but they tried it on a national election instead of a local election here and there. They were greedy and got caught. Biden's handlers at the White House are clarifying that he did not agree to any swaps of cyber criminals with Moscow. After Biden appeared to agree with a proposal floated by Russian Vladimir Putin, Putin had suggested a proposal to extradite any U.S. ransom hackers to Russia in exchange for sending any ra Russian hackers to the U.S. Biden originally told reporters that the proposal was a sign of progress, but then his own security advisor walked it back and said the U.S. already holds hackers to account. If we agree to extradite criminals, then, of course, Russia will do that. We will do that, but only if the other side, in this case, the United States, agrees to the same and will extradite the criminals in question to the Russian Federation, Putin said in the interview. When asked about it at the G7 summit, Biden said, That's potentially a good sign of progress. Yes, I'm open to. If there are crimes committed against Russia, then, in fact, people committing those crimes are being harbored in the United States. I'm committing to holding them accountable. Then, on a flight to Brussels, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan clarified that Biden was not contemplating any kind of a swap. This is not about exchanges or swaps or anything like that. What the president was responding to in the affirmative was not the specific proposal of the exchange of cyber criminals. What he was saying was that if Vladimir Putin wants to come and say I'm prepared to make sure that cyber crimes will be held accountable, Joe Biden is perfectly willing to say cyber criminals will be held accountable in America because they already are, Sullivan said. Putin sat for an interview with NBC News reporter Keir Simmons, which aired on Sunday and was asked about both Donald Trump and Joe Biden. Putin said that Trump is extraordinary and talented while saying that Biden is radically different and is a career man in politics. Putin is a good judge of presidential character. Trump was extraordinary and gifted. Biden is a senile, demented, slobbering fool, incoherent blabber, a DNC pawn, and a step in fetch it for rice and the Muslim mulatto. The ultimate Trojan horse. And this guy has his finger on the nuclear button? Every one of you who voted for this age-demented person should be ashamed and very afraid.